All right, good morning ladies and gentlemen, viewers. Uh, today we're going to be testing out this new screen that I've fitted onto the Indian Chief Dark Horse. And oh, it's not the best of weather, we're in winter now here in Australia. Uh, but yeah, that's how the screen looks on the bike. I really like the way it looks and I like the way it's positioned. It's sort of uh, nice and low out of my field of view which is really cool but I want to see just how effective it is at um, protecting me from the wind on the highway at highway speeds so it's the top of the screen sort of comes out just uh, below my helmet so I'm expecting my head to get a fair bit of air but uh, if it just keeps all the wind pressure off my body then that would be uh, absolutely fantastic Okay, now the test. So yes, yeah, so there's two, two things I want to achieve today and that's A, test this on the highway, see what it's like for wind protection and, and A, I have heard of uh, buffeting on the helmet as a side effect so if there is buffeting I want to see if it's coming from the top of the screen or from down here because uh, often it can come from down here and up and, and uh, disturb the air. So uh, we'll try and determine that and the other thing I want to do is uh, run the bike in more so uh, I, I don't want to do just highway Ks because that's not the best way to run a bike in. So I'm going to be doing a lot of stop starting, you know, betting in the brakes and uh, getting that gearbox worn in as well. Um, so you may as well come around, along for a bit of a ride while I do that at, at the same time. Okay, let's go. Now it's only about five degrees here today. I don't mind it being colder, uh, I just prefer that it's dry just to keep my bike as clean as possible for as long as possible because uh, it's only a matter of time from riding around the rain that it's filthy. running in procedure is um, one third throttle up to 145 kilometres the distance travelled and then once I get over 145 k's on the odometer I can start using half throttle and then once uh, I can use half throttle up to about 485 kilometres and once I get over that I can start using three quarters throttle up to 800 kilometres and then it goes in for its first service and after its first service then I can start using full throttle so okay this is a test we're heading into a headish wind got up to 100 kilometers an hour So this is working fantastic to take all the pressure off my body which is brilliant because it, it gets very tiring very quickly just holding yourself um, against the wind because you are like a sail the bars are nice and wide and you're sort of pretty much like a sail catching all the wind um, so that's working fantastic but yeah I do there is increased wind noise on my helmet but it's not like um, there is a little bit of buffeting, but it's not bad. At this speed, 100 kilometres or 62 miles an hour, uh, I think it's certainly tolerable and uh, it's much more relaxing. Uh, just being able to sit here without the wind trying to drag me off the back of the bike. So, so far at this you know, very initial early stage, um, it's a win. I can certainly do a lot more miles on the bike with this on rather than off. It's a lot more relaxing to ride, which is great. Now, of 
could stay on that road and go to Clunes, but um, I want to go through the gears, you know, accelerate, decelerate, brake, because I'm trying to run this thing in. Scrape the pegs once. Didn't scrape there though. So how am I finding my new bike? Well, uh, yeah, I really, 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 really like it. Uh, very pleased with my purchasing decision. It's comfortable seat's comfortable, it rides well, I think um, uh, it's a little, the suspension is just a little bit firm at the moment, I do have it correctly set up for my weight, I've checked that, and uh, uh, I think that'll just wear in, I'll just compare it to the uh, test bike, the Chief Dark Horse I test rode, uh, but that had a few thousand kilometres on it, so I think the suspension had sort of bedded in and settled down. So I'm expecting that the same to happen here. And I reckon it already has, you know, done what about 80, 80 k's now. You know, or I think I can already feel a difference. So that's really good. Now I am varying the engine revs by just dropping down a gear. Sit in fifth fifth gear for a little bit on these long stretches or longish stretches so I'll drop it down to fifth and then pick it back up to sixth again and just go up and down to vary the engine revs Just riding around in standard mode. Uh, I think I'll leave it in standard mode until the bikes run in, and then I'll start playing with sport mode. But I, I can only see myself using sport mode, like on the highway and you know, higher speed stuff, because uh, it's a little bit jerky for low speed stuff. nice and stable, it's not wobbling around or anything, uh, not like the Sport Chief screen where it just seems really like it's too thin or something, it just wobbles around and jiggles around, this is rock solid which is great. I'm, I'm enjoying that, um, having that less pressure on my body, well n actually zero pressure on my body, that's very relaxing. It's hard to know where one third throttle is, but uh, I'm just reading that as just take it easy. Now it does that. It's, that's for some reason I don't know if I'm flicking a, a lead, touching the lever, but um, it just randomly switches off the. Yeah, I like this one, and then I look down and it switched to another screen. So maybe I'm touching a button when I'm reaching for the clutch or something. There's a little toggle switch just up here, and there's one on that side. And I wonder if I'm just brushing it when I'm reaching for the clutch, which is changing the uh, changing the screen. This is good going up and down the gears. A little bit of a hill start here. <laughs> right away. I appreciate the, the, the sentiment. That's 
good, easy, easy to hill start. It wasn't a big hill, but you know, still a hill. So you get to feel what the clutch is like. Yeah, I'm liking this. I guess I'll be staying on the whole time on the bike now. Probably mean I'll have to use some earplugs again. I was hoping I didn't need to wear earplugs. I did ride around, uh, do a test ride on the highway without the screen, and uh, I had nice clean air on my helmet, which is really nice. But yeah, the wind pressure uh, it, it would get tiring very quickly. So I'm glad I bought that. Really, really glad. Fortunately with an engine this size, 116 cubic inches or 1890 cc's, it has all the torque in the world and you don't need to rev it out to get it going and uh, you can get along quite briskly um, even just using one third throttle which is nice. Which is what I wanted, I wanted a bike that had you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, torque, a lot of oomph, so uh, it's just pleasing to ride at legal speeds, you know, I don't have to wind it out to get that thrill. We'll take the bike up through the wind farm and um, it's one of my little rides to see how it uh, handles going up through there. Bumpier roads and keep pressing to cancel the indicators but I don't have to, it's got self cancelling indicators. That should go off here, there we go. Oh, the other thing it's said to do in the manual when you're running it in is never to lug the engine so making a conscious effort not to do that.
So I'm not getting buffeting on my helmet as such, I reckon it's more um, just wind noise. Because my hair's not being pushed around. It is a tiny little bit, but like you're not enough to, to worry about. Uh, but yeah, it's more wind noise than, um, than buffeting as such. Now I do notice that once I go up around 3000 RPM, I, the engine starts to get a bit of a buzz, a bit of a vibration through it. And that happened on, that's really happened on every 116 I've test ridden actually. I think that was in the, the Springfield that did the same. It's just as uh, the Chief Dark Horse on test ride did the same. It's just an area that the engine goes through where it gets a little bit vibey. Other than that, it's perfectly smooth everywhere else. And you know, sitting on the highway or sitting on the freeway, the revs you're doing, it's in the smooth zone, so it's all good. So that's not gonna worry me at all, that, that little bit of vibes as I go through that rev range, going up through the gears. section. Yep, no problems. Handled that alright. some stage whether that's put slip-ons on or even you know half tempted just to drill out the last baffle and see what happens see what that sounds like I'll see if I can find somewhere online or someone's done that Take it easy with this amount of fog around. Uh, give way to livestock, okay? So there's uh, going to be cattle on the road up ahead. Be a nice surprise to come across those.
starting to rain, but it feels. after riding through this stuff. It's just a really fine misty rain and it's misting up my visor. dodge as much of the mud as I can. coming along at 100 kilometers an hour out of that mist. I think we're right.
sleepy little town of Warborough. That was the uh, inaugural test ride. It doesn't sound too bad from down here. The inaugural test ride of the uh, screen. Uh, pros, definitely a lot more relaxing to sit on a bike uh, out of the wind off. Keep it does keep all the wind off my body. Cons is uh, the extra noise in my helmet so everything's a compromise yeah looking at all the, the mud in around the starter motor the oil filter on the uh, header shield frame so that's going to have to be something that i have to just keep an eye on just washing all in here every time i got to wash the bike that's all right i'll just uh uh, it's got to be ridden. It's going to be ridden all, all year round through winter. So I just got to wash it regularly. That's all. All right. Well, I think uh, I'll call it quits for this video here. Um, unless I will keep the camera rolling. And um, if you want to join me, you can for the rest of the ride. Uh, otherwise, uh, that was the test ride of the Indian Chief Dark Horse and this 17.8 inch screen if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching as always thank you for your continued support and until next time bye for now uh, unless you're joining me for the ride home of course so very nice to manage at low speeds this bike
moving in closer behind the screen here. It does get very quiet when I'm down here like this. But still, it's not too bad. But my own, what I didn't want was the buffeting where it's pushing my head around and bobbling my head. That would be terrible. But I'm not getting that. It's, um, it's pretty good. There's, oh, maybe, there's maybe a slight touch of it, but no, nah, it's not. Nothing to worry about. Definitely nothing to worry about. It's just, it's just noisier. It's quieter if I put my head down. So if I'm on a longer trip, I can just drop my head down a bit and, you know, get out of the wind. Interesting to see if this microphone's picking up how much quieter it gets. Put my head out in the breeze versus down behind the screen. This time of year we get a lot of potholes so uh, I'm making sure that I'm not going to damage my rims and then picking what appears to be the smoothest line. You can't really pick up stuff on the GoPro as it's out ahead it tends to blur the road but uh, I can see what's coming thank goodness. seat comfort. Well, pretty good so far. It's definitely a lot more comfortable than my NC 750X seat was for me. The real test will be putting a few hours on the bike, but um, so far so good. Gearbox worn in. Yeah, some people I see will uh, pick up a bike and then ride it for hundreds of kilometres on the freeway to get those run in kilometres down, but it, it's really not the right way to do it because A, you can't bury the engine enough, um, and B, you're not uh, working the gearbox, you're not working your brakes, and all that needs to be bedded in. and run in as well.
across here. this intersection here because cars fly up from the left at 100 kilometers an hour and they come over that little rise and you just don't see them coming until last minute 